Good morning guys, so today is Saturday. I'm going to get my hair cut and coloured. Um, it's going to be a slightly different colour this time. Uh, we're doing something a little bit different, so some of you are going to be really sad and some of you are going to be really happy. Um, I wanted to go for something a little more autumnal, so that is what I'm up to this morning. I also need to get some breakfast before my appointment because I haven't eaten anything yet. So I've got about 10 minutes until my appointment, so I might stop into one of the little like organic health food shops that's opposite my hairdresser and try and find some food because otherwise I might end up getting really hangry in the hairdressers and that could get a bit scary for my hairdresser. I've always end up in a very good section. Which one? If in doubt, get yeah, both. my hair done. I am loving this. And now I'm on my way to the station because Josh and I are going to see our friends who have just had a baby and it's my friend Stevie's birthday so we're combining baby cuddles and birthday cake and it's going to be great. I also just need to know what a good time I had at the hairdressers. Javier is my hairdresser at Simon Webster Hair. He gives the best hair massages and does the best colour. I am so happy with this. I just can't stop switching my hair. This is great. I also just went to Oliver Bonus and bought my friend Stevie a birthday present and then also bought a few things for myself. So I'm gonna have to show you what I got because I'm so happy with them. I just love Oliver Bonus. Every time I go in there, I want to buy everything. It's kind of dangerous. We've been reunited. Hello, boyfriend. Hello, dog. So excited to see my friend. So excited to see the baby. Baby cuddle. Do you want to pass it to me? morning I am on a mission into Brighton for very pink pillows. So part of my reason for the random pocket pillows is because I saw them in Alex's vlog in a uh, trip to home service and I decided that I had to have these pink fluffy pillows so that is my mission today. No luck on the pink fluffy pillow hunt. I'm gonna try a couple of other places and find something similar but if not Alex has a really great home sense near her so I could still get lucky. I decided to brave lush on a Sunday because I need me some pasta. So I might not have found my pillows, but I did find the book that I wanted and I did get lush stuff, which I'm so happy about. There was so much good stuff in there. So right now I'm just walking home. I think I'm gonna get some food on the way because we have nothing in our fridge. I have no idea what we're gonna eat for dinner. And then I'm just gonna go home, chill, have a cup of tea, read your comments on today's video, which you guys seem to be liking so far. So that's really good. I'm hoping my favorite bakery is still gonna be open for me to get bread from because it's just my fave. So good. I have bread. I'm home. My hair really did not stay curled today. Why did I even bother? Like, this is what I look like when I woke up yeah. this morning. So whilst I'm vlogging, I just thought I'd show you the ginormous bunch of flowers that I got yesterday. These arrived whilst I was out. Like, they're so big, I can't even show them to you really on camera. So I think I'm gonna have to break this giant bunch of flowers down because I don't actually have a vase. A, a vase? I can't speak today. I don't have a vase that big. I think it's because my throat is like blocked up and I have a cold, I just can't say words. Um, but yeah, they're from Girl Anne, um, who sent me them as a birthday present, which was so nice of them. They're so pretty. There's like hydrangeas and roses and lilies, all my faves. But you know what else I love? My mini pumpkin. It's so cute. These little like, I don't know what they are. It's like a little part of the plant has started to like blossom and it's really cute. So I've ended up in bed with a pint glass of water because I feel awful. This is basically day, what day is it now? Like day 15 of 
Susie's illness update. It keeps coming and going in waves. I think it's because I'm not really stopping and resting. Um, my body just doesn't really do colds very well. I will get one each winter and it never goes away. Yeah, so I've ended up in bed. I made my bed. I came and tidied my bedroom, made my bed, and then ended up getting in it. This is the thing with me. Most people make their bed to stop themselves getting back in it. If I make my bed, I will get in it because it just looks so comfy. Um, so yeah. That is where we are at right now. Um, and I've also got my cactus pyjamas on from ASOS. These were like the total blogger cliche. Like you have to have these if you want to be a blogger because it's just like a requirement that we all have them. It's not really, but I swear all the UK girls I know that I'm friends with all have these pyjamas and it's like the best thing ever. Whenever I stay with Alex, we wear these. It's great. Um, I thought I'd show you a few of the things I picked up in town and a couple of things that I got um the other day but on thursday i vlogged but it wasn't really very interesting so i had three meetings like back to back so i didn't include that in friday's vlog but i basically had like three meetings in um london and ended up spending like two hours trying to get home on the train and it was not great but i went to a monica vinida uh meeting and press event and they gave me this gorgeous necklace which is like hammered rose gold um but it also let me see if i can show you they did an engraving and it has an S on it. It's really hard to show you. I might have to take it off for you to see. But yeah, it's really, really pretty and I'm so happy with it. And this, the chains on the Monica Vinida necklaces are so good because you can um, like make them really long like this. Ah. So I can have it as a really long chain and I like that. Or I can have it like choker style. And today I kind of wore it and had like the long chain that was hanging down as like a I can't do this one handed that was there and then I had like the loose bit hanging down the middle and I thought that was quite cute so I've been loving that and they can basically engrave anything onto these and so many other things so I had like um I got this which Monica Vinader also sent to me um which is one of their bangles and you can have the top part of them engraved but I actually had I don't know if it'll show you so I think you can just about see I had the bead engraved on the other side of this it has the Monica Vinader M but I just had like a little heart put on uh, the other side and I think it's really cute and it's just a very fine line um whereas my S that I have on the necklace is a bit more um kind of beefy looks really really fancy whereas this is just a little bit more simple and the event was just so fun as well they had all of the new pieces out which are insane like my christmas list is just done now yeah just had a really nice day and then i stopped in at banana republic after yeah bought some stuff i have a very pink fluffy jumper now that i need to decide whether i'm gonna keep i was like i'm gonna try this on at home also one thing that i wanted to talk to you guys about was the dress that i wore in the vlog on thursday and it's the same dress i wore today i love that dress it's from jack quills i will make sure that i find it on asos and link it because i love it it is so soft and i just think it's going to be like my go-to piece for autumn and winter because you can kind of layer it a little bit um it's just such a beautiful piece i also bought this from oliver bonus yesterday as if i needed another bobble hat but um yeah it's got like metallic Kind of pieces to it and then it's like pink and white woven in together and it's got white bobble and the white bobble just looks so cute it's so fuzzy and i really liked it because i have pink hats but they're all pink i don't have a pink with a white bobble and i like the fact that this is so like multi tonal and it's got like the sparkly bits it's just so cute i bought this for my friend stevie for her birthday as well and um it's actually like slightly on the smaller side. So um, when her little girl is a little bit bigger, she can use that as a hat as well. Um, I also got this from Oliver Bonus, which I am obsessed with. I love this so much. I have this obsession with flamingos and I have had for a really long time now. They do this in a smaller size, but I loved the big one. I feel like most people would use this when they're going on holiday and it would house everything they own but for me this will literally just house makeup and i've been looking for like a giant makeup bag for such a long time now so yeah those were the two things that i got from oliver bonus i love oliver bonus so i got those and then blush oh, i'm so excited about this it smells so good so first thing i got was a giant rose jam i used to be such a snow fairy girl but now i'm all about rose jam i just 
absolutely love this stuff and i've got a really big bottle i think this is one of my biggest ever bottles that i've had they do a much bigger one i think but i was like yeah and then i got a monster's ball bath bomb which is like a pink and um blue one on the outside i feel like it's gonna have a surprise on the inside but i just thought it looked cool um i got a peeping santa bubble bar i love little bubble bars i think they're so cute and then I've got another butter bear because I'm just obsessed with butter bears. They're my favourite out of everything from Lush, like that and the butter balls. Um, I think the butter balls are actually slightly more hydrating. So I do like those, but I just like the fact that they come in bear shape. I've got a snowy bubble bar. I like bubble bars because I prefer like bubbly baths as opposed to bath bombs. And I like the fact that with bubble bars you can... Um, you can kind of like break them off a bit whereas you can't with bath bombs and sometimes bath bombs are so big that i'm like this i feel like this is wasteful so this one's a snowy i feel like i've got a mistletoe one and i don't know where it is i hope i didn't it didn't get like misplaced it's not on my receipt so i'm a bit like it was like a really cool mistletoe bath bomb um and it just looked awesome and it was like this bit of like a jasmine scent um that's really sad I have to go back and get another one. Okay, so I'm gonna put that all back now and mourn the loss of my bath bomb. The camera's a bit wonky, but I like the setup. <laughs> um, I also ended up getting a book when I was out. So I got this book and it's been recommended to me by so many people. And I just feel like, you know when you just feel like there's some points in your life when you're like, I need this right now. Like, I just feel like I need it. I love like one of the first pages um I don't know if you can see this like i wish i could make my info boxes like this sometimes <laughs> this is another book that i got recently uh which is called capture your style it's by amy song and she is a blogger if you don't know her like i'm really into fashion bloggers but i don't really expect everyone to know everyone because there's so many people um but yeah it's just like basically a book about instagram and it's just really good for like if you just want to understand someone's process of how they take an instagram photo like an outfit of the day instagram photo it's just really pretty really aesthetically pleasing like the cover i love i also got bloom the other day which is by estee essie button slash estee lalonde um and i can't wait to read this like i'm really looking forward to finishing capture your style so i can start on this and now this i'm like gonna be reading both of them at the same time i think this will be more my evening book and this one will be more my traveling to london book because it's just a lot lighter and it's a bit shorter so i'm looking forward to reading this and i just love how personal it is i just feel like this is going to be one of those books that i don't really want to end like i love things like this and i just think it's so beautiful as well yeah i cannot wait to read that and so yeah those are my new books looks terrible today so this wasn't how i envisioned day three of this vlog which is for mainly one reason and this morning i was up early everything was going fine and then my phone starts pinging like crazy i'm getting a lot of notifications saying this is your verification code for this and that and this and that i read a few things recently and for some reason i decided to ring up my management company and i was like are you doing any analytics things on my accounts what's the you know what's going on no analytics lady is on holiday so a few minutes later i realized there is someone in my snapchat account and i can't get in and the bitch is still in there holding it to ransom but it did mean that a lot of today was taken up on the back end of that which i won't go into because it's you know for security reasons um but yeah that definitely was not the day I envisioned so I spent quite a few hours on that and then I have tomorrow's eco tools video which is due to go up so I was making some last minute changes to that and the moral of the story as I was trying to say earlier is put two-step authentication on your snapchats for crying out loud no everyone I've spoken to did not know that it existed and neither did I I think it's fairly new and I think a lot of people have had snapchat for a really long time so it's not one of those things that you're advised to do straight away like I think it just went over a lot of our heads um snapchat is just not a secure app and they actually can't do anything if someone hacks your account apparently so my username is now the same as my website it's hello-october 
sad, sad times. That was one of the few accounts that I actually had Hello October. No XO, no hyphen, had my actual username. But um, yeah, so Hello hyphen October. I've just realized there's a Terry's chocolate orange on my desk. Yes. Has anyone tried the dark one? Because honestly, these are like crack. Not that I know what crack is like, but I just find them a bit addictive basically. Hello. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've been shortlisted for best vlogger in the 2016 Cosmo Blog Awards. Do you What am I doing right now? But that is it from me today. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. I hope you're all having the best day. Remember, don't let anyone hack your Snapchat account. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.